Hi Cancer, as it's a general reading for the sign of Cancer. Uh, my beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It is wonderful to have you here and I'm excited to be here as well. Um, have a good energy today and excited to get into this reading. All right, um, before I get started, I want to remind everyone that this is a general reading um, where uh, I reach up into a, a consciousness energy um, and pull down some information. Um, it is a uh, information that is compiled from a large group of people and so please understand that it may not all fit with you um, it may um, there may only be small tidbits of information that you can apply into your situation um, but but for some of you there could be a lot that resonates with you so it just depends on um, this the situation that I bring forward see if that really resonates with you otherwise um, if this is for you to use as as you wish um, please though remember um, that it is not advisable to make life decisions based on a general reading um, from a from the tool of tarot uh, because again we are reaching up into a general energy so with that said let's go ahead and shuffle now cancer and see what's here uh, for this situation the current situation um, for the sign of cancer the current situation for the sign of cancer current situation current energies that we're looking into for this group of cancer signs what is this group of cancer people what are they experiencing what are some of the feelings and experiences that they are going through at this period of time. So this is a current energy. We will look at that in a minute. Let's look now at the future and um, the forecast of the next immediate um, future, knowing that this future is going to, um, uh, this new scenario or moving into the future is going to happen for you um, depending on how fast you're moving and what kind of a situation you're in. Um, not all of you are moving at the same pace and not all of your situations are the same. So um, some take longer to move through than others. But we're looking at the next phase of, of this scenario, of this situation. Well, <laughs> cancer. This group of cancer people are in a very, um, you, you're, you have a lot of strength right now. You are moving, you're realizing things and you're stepping out in a new way. So this group of, um, this group of people, no matter if you are, if you're, if cancer is in your sun sign or your moon sign or your rising sign or your Venus or wherever you fit with cancer or whatever the reason that you're here, um, this is a period of time for you that is full of, revelations it's full of new information it's full of expression and you are stepping out in a new way so this is a big period of time um big um big energies around you now cancer this might feel quite um different for you um so let's go ahead and and start um, because I, the, the reason I say that cancer is because I think um, for most people who have cancer somewhere in their in their personality, um, there is a preference for balance, emotional balance. Um, in this um, energy that I see, I do see balance here. Um, I do see balance. If you can see um, in this energy uh, of the death energy, you do see that someone is somewhat balanced here. Very strong, very strong, but balanced. Um, and then we have an energy of the six of wands, which is the energy of, of doing something new and in the process working to be balanced in it. So, um, let me go ahead and get started now, uh, uh cancer. Um, so we can, so we can just get right into this. We have the Knight of swords energy to begin. So there's something that you're doing. You could be in a hurry. You could be under pressure. There could be a deadline or a timeline, or you could even be, um, you could even be stressed out about something. Uh, whatever this is, there is something here that has to do with the way that you're thinking about something or clarity of mind or even expression. This has to do with what you have formulated in the mind. Um, some idea that you've had or some kind of project that you have going on where the mind is of utmost, utmost importance because sometimes when we're working um, or we're doing something, we can go through the motions. We, we really can put ourselves in a mindful place. Now, that is an interesting way to say it because um, I'm talking about 
going through the actions of something and just getting to work and getting this done and moving this here and moving this there and doing what needs to be done. This energy is mo much more of a, um, an energy where the mind um, puts forward energy that spurs you forward. So it is an initiation kind of energy. The thoughts you're having, the ideas you're having, um, the powerful um, in, um, intuition that you're receiving that you're using to formulate um, the expressions um, is part of this journey for you. So you are moving forward now um, at a at a quick or rapid pace, or even in a surprising way for people. And um, you have you have something here that you're expressing, something here that there's a truth for you that you are expressing. Now this is coming from um, a belief system or a an idea or or something that is within the mind that's propelling you forward. Um, so this is not something where you can sit still and um, d and complete a, a mindful um, transaction such as stacking rocks on top of each other or um, building something um, that allows your you to you to be really very much in the moment. You're you're thinking um, in a in a in a way that's powerful, that's going to create change, that's going to fix something or, or um, that's going to affect something in your life. And you're on the move now um, to, to make that begin to happen for yourself. And oftentimes it does have to do with expression and in, in voicing whatever this is. So um, your mouth might be in action, your feet may be in action, um, your pen may be in action, but, but you are doing something now at, at, a, at a very intense way um, to create some sort of, of change or movement um, in, in your life. And it does have to do with thought and clarity and your belief system. So it's, it's a very, um, this energy when I'm in it is, is an energy that is, you, it might even be hard for you to wrap your mind around this. Um, it, it could be something that is a um, energy or is a feeling or an experience that you may not always get to ex get to experience. It might not be something or it might be um, an experience that is um, comes along more more infrequently than other experiences that you may have um, be cancer because I think from from my understanding, um, of, of this group of people, you could find um, more empowerment or more inner strength from the heart center and how you're feeling about your life and how you're feeling about this situation or that situation and how you can bring it in um, to a more moderate place and, and find balance in it and and live in love and, and also find um, clarity in life. This is um, a, a moving forward at an intense pace um, with the mind in control or the mind initiating. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of power. There's a lot of energy being spent um, from the brain, from the organ, the brain. Um, we we do have the death energy here. So there's a big change now that that is upon you. Um, now, when we get into the general general energy, we I, I really it's hard to know what the change is because you, each one of you is going through a different kind of a change. But there is a change, and whatever was happening before in your life, something is different. Something was something has gone away. Something has been um, you have, might have walked away from something, or somebody might have walked away from you, or you could have lost someone in your life. And we lose people in in various different ways. Um, but whatever that experience was, um, it is over now or it is coming to an end. Um, and there is a change here. There is a season. Um, a new season is coming in for you. A new book is being um, is being started. So there could be um, things here that you're ending. You could be ending relationships. You could be ending um, jobs. You could be um, ending um, the way that you, you know, the way that you believed and you might start believing in a different way. You could be, um, there, there's so many things that you could be ending, um, but there is an ending here and there is a new beginning. We also have the judgment energy right next to the death energy. So I, I think this is something that um, came to you in, in a way that can't, 
can't really be stopped. It can't really be denied. Um, in a way, this is something that you might be powerless to. Uh, in the beginning, there might have been something that you could have controlled in this, that you could have changed. But as time went on and as the situation moved forward, the momentum of the situation moved forward, um, now it, there's something that's happened that might be beyond your control um, that you aren't able to really... Um, um, that you're that you're going to that you're realizing here or you're or you're um allowing yourself to flow with and and cooperate with and um compromise with is an energy of the judgment energy this is an energy that um does come frequently with the energy of the death energy so um it, it i like that the judgment energy is next to the death energy because it tells me um that there's a new day here that maybe this has hurt you um, in ways that you might not have been expecting or in ways that um, has created here an energy of um, a new energy within you that is maybe an energy or a feeling or, or a, um, a an initiation or, or inertia or momentum within you that is, is something that you uh, may not have experienced ever before possibly or very rarely in your life whatever this is th there is a cleanliness that will eventually come from this because the judgment energy it does cleanse um it does cleanse a soul it does cleanse an environment um but the cleansing of it can create um it can it can come with with a, mul a multitude of emotions and a multitude of actions that need to be taken. Um, just like when um, perhaps we go into a situation and we get involved in something um, that could maybe um, take us down a road that we weren't expecting to be on, and the road could have been um, the road could be something that um, we find ourselves. Um, taking unhealthy actions in or thinking in an unhealthy way or getting involved in something that is um, a, an, a, something that is a negative situation and we can get wrapped up into that um, to, in order to get ourselves out of that situation we have to sort of go through a process of pulling ourselves back out and in the process of pulling ourselves back out we um, we will um, go through experiences that could be difficult for us as we as we cleanse ourselves. Um, so there could be um, some kind of a cleansing energy here. It doesn't have to be that it's a negative situation that you're cleansing yourself from. But when we when we go through the energy, there is a refreshing kind of a result that comes from that. Um, and oftentimes there's a feeling of, of being cleansed when it's over. Um, we do see the Six of Wands here. So uh, wh whatever this energy is, it looks like if you're in the middle of this situation, um, as, as soon as you kind of get your foothold here, get your bearings here, I think you're going to be able to step out in a, in a fresh new in a fresh new way. Um, you could feel like a new person or you could even be a new person. You could have um, stepped up in your in your own life in a way and, and created um, a, a new version of yourself. Um, when we have the death energy next to the judgment energy, this is talking about the newness of the soul or expansion of the soul, um, strengthening of the heart and understanding the power of the mind and the necessity to keep the body healthy. And all of these things can really propel us forward in a, in a new and, and powerful way in our lives. So with the six of wands, it's a passionate energy. Um, you're ready to go. You're, you're feeling like you have the strength now to step forward in a new way. And, and even though you may not know what the future holds and you do not know what the future holds, none of us know, not even readers know what the future holds because that is a universal energy. Um, but you, even though you may not know or you do not know what the future really holds for you, you know that you have the capacities and the skills and the talents, um, and the talent to really step up and survive and, and, and make your situation abundant and do what needs to be done here. So this is a really, um, strong energy that we see here, Cancer. And, um, it's, it's really, it is a, um, a strong energy. If you can tell with my, with, in my voice, um, the energy that's coming through the, the tone of my voice and the, 
um, the vibration, the, the excitement that you can feel in my voice compared to last week, I'm sure. Um, if you go back and listen to last week's reading, I'm sure the, the energy is going to be different in this reading. And this group of you will resonate with this energy. You will say, this is the energy that I'm in. This is exactly how I'm feeling. Um, so um, it, this, I, I am interested in this death energy. I kind of want to go a little bit deeper into this death energy. I'm going to use a different deck here to clarify and see if we can get a little bit more information out of the death energy. And then we'll go into the Knight of Swords. And this one, I dig deeper. I'm probably not going to get as, dig as deep as I would dig an extended, but this is sort of what I do in the extended reading sometimes when I, when I say I'm going to, um, look into certain energies. I'll, I'll dig deeper into, into the cards. So let's go ahead and look. Um, at the death energy here, we have the star coming out. We have magician energy here. Justice energy. And I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Knight of Swords as well. swords there you are two of pentacles and let's look deeper at the six of wands and then we'll go into the future and see what we can get out of the future here eight of cups there's another two wands energy so let's start with let's start with the knight of swords um, it does look like with the knight of swords there's something here um, um, with family or with people who are very special to you or even land that is special to you memories that are um, that are vital to your to your ex existence they have created who you are um, teachings that have created who you are people that are around you that have created who you are. Um, this is part of your soul. When we say a soul connection or a soul, um, there is many different influences that help expand the soul and feed the soul and nurture the soul. With the Six of Cups, this is talking about soul health, um, the, the, the health of one's heart and the health of the soul here with the Six of Cups. So there's something here that you could be expressing here um, with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is another air energy. We have Knight of Swords, which is um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And then we have Queen of Swords, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Um, this is a, um, an energy of intellect, um, but I don't mean that any, uh, when, when I say intellect, I mean um, how the mind works and how it computes and how it processes and then how it kind of puts everything together and and forces information, sends information out the mouth, um, sends it into the hands and into the feet and into the body so that the action can be taken um, with the Knight of Swords. So there's something here um, that's being voiced here. Um, there could be protecting a family um, um, because remember the Queen of Swords is about expression. She really works to help people understand um, what is coming from within her and whatever is coming from within you does seem to have some kind of an effect or be motivated by family or by what has fed you, what has brought you to the place that you are. So you could be protecting people that you love. You could be um, moving forward in a guardianship type of way. You could be even expressing yourself um, and the way you're feeling about something to your family or to the people around you, whatever it is that you're doing, it is affecting your heart and soul. So it comes from deep within you. Um, this is something that is an emotional energy, but it's an emotion that feeds the mind and helps find clarity so that you can express yourself because the heart, um, now the heart needs other organs, right, for expression. Um, the heart can express itself, but how does it express itself? It expresses itself through touch, through the five senses, through through expression, through language. Um, it, it can express itself that way. And so we see you here um, using the heart center and the soul um, to help 
feed the mind so that you can um, communicate something that is very close and very dear to you and very much who you are. Um, we, we do have the two of pentacles here and this is about something that you could be doing even on a day-to-day -day basis. You could be figuring out, okay, do I do it this way or that way? Um, you could even be figuring out here um, what's most important to you, uh, Cancer. What is most important to you? And even as many of us really um, hunker down now, um, many of us in the world are taking a pause and we're having to rethink um, what we're doing on a on a day to day basis or on an hour to hour basis. What are we doing in our lives? And um, we're we're looking at our work, we're looking at our money, we're looking at what's important to us. And it reminds me one time when I was doing a reading of a dartboard that came to mind. And if you know a dartboard, um, I haven't played darts very much. So if I get this wrong, please, please be um, patient with me because I'm not a, what do you call it? A dartist? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so um, what? getting back to the dartboard and you have a, a radius, radiuses of circles. So in the middle you have a, is it a red circle in the middle? And then outside you have um, lines that go around in radius, almost like ripples. If you put um, a pebble in water, you'll see ripples going out. Um, and so this, this makes me um, realize here with this two of pentacles, it reminds me of that where you have a, um, a series of circles and inside the red circles, almost from my perspective, um, this is what I'm doing anyway, and it's coming forward now. And we have to say, okay, what's ultimately the most important in my life right now? What is the ultimately the most important in my life? Is it myself and my family? And who is my family? And so for me, if I just use, and I'm not going to talk very long about this, but I think this is probably part of this because I see the six of cups. I see the queen of swords. I see um, this Knight of Swords here in the Two of Pentacles. So I, I, I'm going to go forward with the story. It won't take very long. For me, I have to say, um, my son and I, I, as I look at my world, I've really had to think about this and, and how do I move forward now? Um, not being fearful, um, understanding how grateful I am and how grateful we are um, for the lives we have, but understanding, okay, now that we have this situation, how do I move forward in the best appropriate way? So I've realized that in the middle of my circle is my son and I, right? That's what I've realized for myself is the most important. When push comes to shove, that's what I focus on, right? What's the next most important for me? Um, my parents are still alive. My father is ill. My mother is almost his, the same age as my father. And so um, I know that my next priority for myself is my mother and father. They're in the second um, ring outside of my ring. So they're the next important thing for me are my parents and what I can do to help keep them safe and help keep them um, feeling well in this period of time. Um, then after I think about my my parents, who next is important to me? Is it my friends? Is it my siblings? Well, for me, it would be my siblings, but now everyone is different. So this is a, this is what I've had to kind of sit back and think, okay, am I going to get together? I have um, a, a get together with friends coming up next week. And I have to think now, is this something that is ultimately important to me? And I had to find on this radius, this series of circles where that fit in the series of circles and when i really came down to it i realized that that experience could be handled differently that we could talk to each other over facetime and so i realized that that experience was in the outer outer circles um farther from me and so that helped me to kind of um this is how i kind of prioritize now i don't know how everyone else is doing it but but there is something here where you're prioritizing and it does have something to do with the soul and so this could be very much um something that you could be doing or something that's very similar to this um this energy is um, um when i dig deeper like this these energies can get more complicated and i can get stuck in them like this but that's what happens sometimes when i do the extended readings so those of you that have heard that um, know that I can get into the energies like this. Um, but that's the kind of thing that you might be doing and you might be deciding, okay, now I know what to say. Now I know how to move forward. Now I have confidence now that I can put my priorities in order that feel good to me. And I know what to focus on. I know to focus on my parents. I know to focus on my own health and my son's health. And I know to know now how to move forward um, with my friends and um, with the decisions I make every day. So in, in a way here with the Knight of Swords, I think that's kind of what's what's happening. With the death energy, we have the star's energy, the magician and the justice. This tells me that there has been some sort of um, 
um, a, it's a lifting up. It is a stepping up. It is a, um, finding who you are inside and, and really pushing through and letting that come out and be seen by the world in, in a way that is, is no apologies. It's, it's, it is a an unapologetic energy. Is it an unkind energy? No. Is it a crisis energy? No. It is not a crisis energy. It is an energy that is me or, or you, or it is an energy that is all of, all of who you are with without apologies. Um, and, and this is an empowering energy and it is inspiring um, for oneself. And it could be inspiring for the people who are around you because this is an energy. This is a feeling that's contagious, just like a virus is contagious. The feeling of well-being and enthusiasm and optimism is a contagious energy and it can be felt by the people around you. And I feel like here with the magician energy um, that you are thinking in a creative way and you're working to uh, really kind of finesse yourself into um, co-creating new experiences for yourself or maybe even thinking about new lines of, of, of income, new streams of income or ways that you could maybe move forward in your existence in, in a different way and then really using the imagination and maybe you're doing things to experiment with, with that, with, with, um, that, with the, with the, with the passion energy. Um, and maybe there's some things that you're doing to help, um, create routines and, and, uh, build, um, itineraries for yourself and, and look at what your schedules are. So, so there is a, um, a mixing of energy with this death energy, um, that's helping you to really move forward here and step up in a new way, a new holistic way where you're understanding what your strengths are. You have clarity of mind. You're stepping forward and doing work that needs to be done. Um, and, and you're having this love for life. Now, this inspiration for life, um, a lighter, fresher, um, energy here, the justice energy is here as well. And I think that when I, when I talk about this energy, we're looking at, um, understanding how, um, parts, parts of situations can be fixed. Um, how you can really, um, look at a situation and say, this part of this is doing, going well. Um, what do I need to do here? This, this part of this experience, um, I feel like something might be off. What, what needs to happen here? How do I make this a more equal experience? How do I make this a, a win-win experience for everyone? So it's, it's looking at the whole picture and saying, this area is going well. This area could use some work. I don't see anything happening over here. And then kind of putting yourself um, into action and, and creating solutions for those areas of life that maybe are lacking in some way. Um, because sometimes it just takes um, being able to look at the whole picture and then find this, the areas and the energies um, that you think that it, it would be best to really focus on um, and, and really kind of put yourself to work in that way. And in that way, you can bring new victories and new expansions um, and, and you can step forward into new or horizons with the justice energy. Now, we've looked deeper into a transformational energy of the death energy. Um, some of these meanings here that I've talked about um, with the justice energy and the magician energy um, and somewhat the, the star energy, they are a little bit different than what it would be if, if the justice energy was one of these main cards. Because as you know, when you go get into transformation, these energies can be um, slightly different. Transformation, death energy, endings and new beginnings, um, this this is a complicated energy. This This is a complicated time in your life, but it's also fascinating and energizing and exciting and it will lead you into new into new um experiences and and we see you stepping into a new experience of subkind it looks like you've walked away from something you've left something behind here um that could have been really hard for you this could have been a year or two ago it could have been a few months ago it could have been last week um whatever happened it was something that you were kind of whether you decided to see the that what was happening for real or whether it was just kind of put upon you that you, you couldn't deny it anymore. There was something here that happened um, that helped you to see what was really going on in, in the relationship or in the situation. Um, and you were able to walk away from that. Um, and I think you're feeling excited about life now. You're, you're optimistic about what's happening. You're enthusiastic about the progress you've made and everything is feeling quite 
strong and passionate and you're able to move forward with a lot more confidence now, but you've done the work to get yourself here. So you have been on quite a journey here, Cancer, and, and the, these are big energies that we have here. Now let's move into the next immediate, immediate future and we'll see if these energies stay like this or if they begin to moderate or, or change a bit as you move forward. All right, let's see what's here. Now I spent quite a bit of time on the current energy and that's how it will go sometimes uh, when we're in these readings. Let's see what, what happens here. I think as you move forward, um, this this energy could um, begin to moderate a bit for you. I kind of felt that when I was moving out of that excited energy. Um, sometimes when we have a burst of energy like that, um, we can we we use that energy because it has been given to us. We have earned that energy because of the work that we've done. But at a certain point, then I think that. Um, it, the, there is probably some inner work to be done. So you might have some inner work to be done here. Um, you might even be worried about how um, you're going to, what, about the decisions that you have to make about wealth or about your finances, about the bigger picture of your, um, of your, even your real estate or big money expenditures that you may have here. Um, with the Four of Wands, this talks about home, it talks about shelter, it talks about how you feel safe and secure in the environment that you're in. Um, that We see the Eight of Swords here over the top of the King of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. It tells me that um, you might have some worries coming in um, about money or about your resources. Um, you may not really know how to make decisions. You may not be able to make decisions here um, with the King of Pentacles, with the Eight of Swords over the King of Pentacles, because it might not really be in your control. Um, you might even have some um, regrets here, even with the Five of Cups, like, why did I do that last last month? Or why, why did I purchase that? Because we have Five of Cups over the King of Pentacles. So it tells me that there is some sort of... Um, you might even be saying, why did I make that decision last month? Why did I purchase this boat? Um, why did I schedule this trip? Why did I do that? Well, because sometimes we don't know. We don't know what the future brings. Um, there, I, I do feel like with the strength energy here, um, you know that you have the capacities within you um, to do what needs to be done. Um, you, you're able to really overcome those feelings, um, understanding um, with the mind and um, understanding with with within yourself of of this of truly the strength that you have the experiences that you've had before um what you've learned in the past maybe what you've learned from a parent or what you've learned with from someone who um, has been around you or a situation that you've been in i think you you are, are going to be able to overcome these feelings remember um this is a, a emotional energy it's only a five it's going to help you um find um, it, it's going to help you and, and um, make some changes down the road. It's going to help you um, eventually here uh, realize some important things about your life because that's what five energies do. Um, I, I think with, with the five energy over the strength um, and, and the eight energy here, we have two eights here. Uh, oh, that's not. Yeah, we have two eights here. So um, I, I think you you have the strength to deal with this. You have the strength to move forward. Um, there, this is this is called, um, and I can't think of the phrase right now. But what's done has been. What's done is done. You know, what's done is done, and you really can't go back and fix the past. And at some point, it's going to be important to just let that go. Let that water go under the bridge. Is that what I was trying to think of? It's not exactly that way, but that's the phrase. And let that go because you will be okay. Um, there is going to be a brighter day. Uh, this is all going to work its way out for you here with the, the Page of Wands. You may not know um, what's going to happen with the Page of Wands. You might be feeling um, like life 
is is maybe coming to a standstill. You might not be um, feeling like you can go forward. You might not even be feeling like um, life is 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 bringing you something that's even fair here with the Page of Wands in reverse. Um, but the Eight of Pentacles is here, and so I think that um, uh, you you are able to work through this. You are understanding um, that there is um, something that you can do here. Um, there's something here with the Eight of Pentacles that you're working on. Um, something that you're focused on here. Um, so I think that this is talking about focus. This is talking about understanding that this is just the beginning of something, that there, there this is something that can be worked through. Um, we have two eights here talking about perseverance and um, tenacity and, and strength and um, the will to move forward because we know as we move forward and we push through that there is a new day, um, there is a new dawn, and eventually this page of wands will turn into the upright and you will feel better again. Um, so as we move forward there, in the next week or so, or the next couple of weeks, you might um, encounter some of these energies where you just don't know what to do. Um, you don't know where to get your information for, from, how to make a decision. You could be kind of feeling trapped in, in your situation um, and feeling like, um, you could just be quite, you could just be worried about what to do. Um, but with these eight energies, the strength energy, this talks about inner strength and the eight of pentacles, which talks about, um, the, the, the ability to really just let a lot of that noise around you, those distractions around you kind of fade off into the distance so that you can focus on what's at hand. Um, there is going to be a new day and this page of wands will turn into the upright as you move through this, through this experience. Let's go ahead now and look at the guidance here, Cancer. So with the guidance that's coming through, you have the Seven of Cups, you have the Wheel energy and the Ace of Wands energy. With the Seven of Cups energy, uh, this is an energy of, of really not being sure of what to do. Um, I, I think that this is an energy that um, can be hard if you are an, an emotional energy. Uh, this is an energy of having seven cups and really not being sure what's in these cups. This, these cups could even be seven days. Um, each day could feel different. One day could feel um, like you have it all under control. The next day you could feel pretty teetery. The next day you could feel really sad. Um, you could have emotions going on throughout. So these this seven of cups energy um, talks about different options and different experiences that you have that could all feel different. Um, with the Seven of Cups energy, um, I, I, I really feel like um, you, you could just not know what to do. And there is a reminder here with the Wheel of Fortune that time moves forward, that all things change, nothing ever stays the same. Um, and when the wheel turns, with the wheel is here, there's new momentum now, there's new happenings, there's new solutions coming forward, um, there are new ideas coming forward. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, it is a, a good energy, it's an energy that um, pushes things ahead. Um, so there, there's something happening here with the wheel um, that will help move things forward um, that you may not be able to see um, as you move into the next week or two. Um, but there is, there are things happening. Sometimes things happen behind the scenes. People could be making decisions um, that will help you, or there could just be um, money coming here with the Wheel of Fortune. You see there's a pentacle here, so there could be some money coming in for you um, that you didn't expect in one way or the other. Um, so while you're in the Seven of Cups and you're just not sure what's going to happen or you're not sure what action to take, I think that time will help you um, the next week or so or the next couple of weeks um, because these, these this reading is originally meant for seven to ten days, and I think this is um, a reading that is probably... Um, delving into the current situation around the world is what I'm thinking. Um, this Wheel of Fortune is, is about things happening, um, decisions being made, um, information coming in. And as the time passes, we're going to begin to see changes um, here with the Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Wands energy is an energy of, of new passion, new desire, um, new expression of excitement and enthusiasm. This can even be new um, found passion for life and new ideas and and new new actions that you're taking here with the ace of wands there could be a lot of actions that you're taking now that you weren't thinking about taking before and you could find yourself really enjoying those things really having 
um, new excitement for life again in, in, in a different way with the Ace of Wands. So this is a chance here to experience something new. Um, it is it is something, the Ace of Wands, when it comes from um, the passion and the energy from within, um, sometimes it can be different energies. Um, sometimes it can be energies that where what we do, we say, oh my goodness, um, like I did this morning, I thought, oh my goodness, I better get to the store early because there are, there's a few groceries I need and I want to get there before there's a whole lot of people there. And that was um, an, an energy that got me up and got me going and got me doing something different. I usually wouldn't think about going to the store um, at, at um, that early in the morning. Um, but this today I did, and that was something new. That's an Ace of Wands energy. Um, so there could be things here that you're doing that are just different than you've than you've done before and it could be kind of fun it could be exciting um even though you have this this energy here where you're not quite sure what's going to happen and everything's really at a standstill um there's still movement here there's still things happening and you could be even experiencing um different um different um actions you could be ste stepping forward in different ways here um so i am going to go into um into the into the extended and when i'm in the extended i, I am going to look at the people who are around you i think that's in, important um and and their perspectives um of, of the situation so i'm going to look at the people so i'm going to write this down so i don't forget people who are around you how do they think about you what are their uh, their what are their experiences like um and then um Let's take this out into the future again. I feel like um, we ended it um, in, a, in a couple of weeks from now. That's kind of how I'm feeling. Let's take it out into the future a little bit more and see if we can dig in and get some more information. And I, I do feel like for many of us, um, this could be um, what's happening in the world. That's, that's kind of what I'm feeling here, Cancer. So let's let's dig into this farther. Let's dig deeper um, and, and look out a little bit uh, into the future here and dig deeper and see what we can pull out for ourselves. I think that would be really interesting to do. All right, my friends, I hope this has been interesting. I know this has gone on um, to be a long reading, but there was a lot of information here. All right, Cancer, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to read for you. I hope all of you are doing well. Stay strong, my friends. Stay strong.